Hey guys, welcome to Max Speed. My name is Mike, and today we're going to be doing a custom exhaust install on my NB. I had my friend custom fab a couple of different exhausts. I was trying to make a quieter version of the ISR, which is currently what's on the car in this video, and he ended up making three different versions of the exhaust. However, they all had different sounds, and I think I found the perfect one. Here's what the car currently sounds like with the ISR exhaust. Now I do want to mention that this exhaust sounds absolutely fantastic on camera, however it does not portray how loud this thing is in real life. On the highway there is an extreme amount of drone, especially anywhere between 3000 and 4000 RPM which is usually where you're going to be at cruising in a car like this. And this was the sole reason I wanted to switch it out, it just made driving the car unlivable and not very fun. It was fun around town when you're at lower RPMs and there was no drone and you're getting on it, but when you're just driving it like a normal car, it was extremely annoying. Not gonna lie, I really do like the ISR, like the really big canister kind of look. Uh, mainly just a really big tip at the end, that's my favorite part. Hey, stop, that's gay, it's quick. <laughs> like kind of, kind of how it sticks up sideways a little bit, I like that a lot. You know, looks aside, I, I care mostly about sound. So let's go try this one out. It looks a little different, looks a little bit more stockish now, but Let's try it out, see what it sounds like. Start this up. Wow, that is quiet. Okay, so I'm I'm used to the ISR already because I've had it on for almost two months. And so when it starts, you just hear and it starts vibrating the entire cabin. Um, this already much more tame. It still has a little bit of a rumble, but let's take it out. I'm gonna leave the top up for now, and I'm gonna put the windows up in a moment, and I'm gonna take it on the highway and stuff. I'm basically gonna do all sorts of driving to see like real life driving conditions. So, all right, so right about now is where I'd hear a lot of drone between three and 4,000 RPM. And those are my tires you're hearing, but here, we're on normal road, right? You might hear a lot of wind noise on the camera, but there is zero drone. This is cruising at 3,500, almost 4,000. Nothing. And there's little pops too. All right. Uh, it's tough, man. With the top down and the wind blowing, it has a good sound, but when the wind starts blowing, I can barely hear it. And that was my problem with stock. Although it still has a good rumble. Um, I think may, I'll try the medium next. I don't think I'm going to like the loud one because I actually really like this one and I just want a little bit more oomph. So check this out. You guys could see how tiny that is. I mean, it's probably what inch and a half, maybe two inches. This is where my ISR muffler kind of sat. Um, there was a little close, and you could see like it literally burned off part of the bumper back there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is pretty quiet. No drone. I like it. I'm gonna try the medium one next, which is basically um, basically just a, a, a more flowing muffler, a higher flowing muffler. All right, so this one's a little louder. I'm on the highway now with the top up. You can probably hear this exhaust, uh, maybe above the wind noise, I'm not really too sure. Yeah, it's a little droney around 3K, but I mean, it's much better than the ISR. And I don't know, I mean, I'll see if we can maybe get it to like be in between this and the first one, which is the super quiet one, basically above stock. My main thought is, can I drive this nine hours up to uh, Tail the Dragon in North Carolina area. I think so. I think I could do it. Anyway, with that being said, um, I like this sound. You guys could probably hear it with the uh, top up right now. All right, so we have we have the ISR back on. All right, so this is about three grand in fifth gear, about 60 miles an hour. I'm still kind of loud. Start at the gas station real quick. So I was looking at the exhaust and I was like, man, I like it, but it's gonna burn my bumper some more, but you know what? It's not. It's uh, sitting far enough away this time. Before it was kind of like touching and you can see actually on the pipe itself, I had some of the bumpers like burned onto it. 
but yeah, I like the look. Maybe maybe this could be a little shorter. Like I I'd cut it to like match the bumper, um, or maybe I would take the exhaust and kind of like instead of coming out like that, I'd have it come down and up like that. That'd be kind of cool. It's gonna be a hard choice between this and the uh, medium loudness one. about 70 miles an hour, about 3,800 RPM, definitely much louder. <laughs> Not as loud as the ISR, like the way it normally comes, but definitely uh, it's a step below, but still much louder than most. I don't know if I, uh, I think I'm going to go back to level two. This is, uh, level three is a little too high for me. <laughs> so the first setup is the ISR piping that we're reusing, plus a different muffler, plus a high flow cat. So I ended up choosing the exhaust that was in between and I believe it was the ISR mid pipe. So the piping all the way back from the headers, we reused that. Plus we did a different muffler, which is from Thrush. Uh, this is called the Thrush Hush muffler. So it's a little bit quieter and definitely quiets down the sound. And then uh, we did a high flow cat uh, in between the exhaust as well. So it's the ISR piping with a high flow cat with a resonator along with the Thrush Hush muffler. And it really quieted down the sound, it eliminated the drone, and it gave it more of a unique tone. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, go down below and hit that subscribe button and also turn that bell on so you never miss an upload. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and all my other social medias down below in the description. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to keep living life at max speed.